Hi and welcome back SKs! You are now at the 9th pit stop in our SK Interactive map. I am Bernie James Advincula, SK Chairperson of Sangguna Ang Kabataan ng Barangay Banangubong, Villasis, Pangasinan. At this point, what we are going to discuss will be about youth development plans and why they are important to SKs. Let's begin by identifying the types of plans that exist with respect to youth development in the Philippines. First, the Philippine Youth Development Plan or PYDP. This is basically the youth dimension of the Philippine Development Plan that is formulated every new administration through the National Youth Commission or NYC. Ngayon, ang mayroon tayo ay ang PYDP 2007 to 2022 na may temang Kakampi ng Kabataan sa Kaunlaran. Presented in the PYDP is the national framework on which programs, projects, and activities for youth development are anchored. The framework consists of nine so-called centers of participation. In other words, mga area kung saan nakapaloob ng youth development to enumerate education, economic empowerment, social inclusion and equity, security, governance, active citizenship, environment, global mobility, and health. Second, the Local Youth Development Plan or LYDP. This is practically PYDP at the local level or to be more specific at the provincial or city or municipality level whichever is applicable. In the SK Reform Act, the task of formulating the LYDP lies in the Concerned Local Youth Development Council or LYDC as approved by the local Sangguniaan. As a localized plan covering three years of implementation, it is expected to not only be anchored on PYDP and the development plans of the corresponding local government units, but also to reflect a more realistic assessment of the needs and priorities of the youth on the ground. Nakapalub pa rin lahat yan sa programa at aktividad para sa mga kabataan doon sa nine centers of participation as previously mentioned. Third, the Comprehensive Barangay Youth Development Plan or CBYDP. If LYDP is local, CBYDP is more so as the name suggests. Identified in the CBYDP are further localized programs, projects, and activities for the youth development as formulated this time by the SKs in consultation with concurrence of the Katipunan ng Kabataan in their jurisdictions as mandated under the SK Reform Law and its IIR. By logic, nakabase ang CBYDP sa LYDP kung saan nakapaloob pa rin ang nine centers of participation and the same with LYDP effective for three years din ang CBYDP. And while in general, CBYDP follows the framework set out in PYDP with nine centers of participation, the programs, projects, and activities identified in the barangay medium term planned for you are far more specific in the terms of areas in intervention, including not limited to the following. Good governance, climate change adaptation, disaster risk reduction and resilience, youth employment and livelihood, health including mental health and reproductive and sexual health, anti-drug dependency, gender sensitivity, accessible education, human rights, social protection, sports, and recreation. Fourth and final, very close with CBYDP, the Annual Barangay Youth Investment Plan or ABYDP. It is in essence a CBYDP broken into three plans corresponding to the three year over which the CBYDP should be implemented. Given its shorter period of coverage, ABYIP also contains the most specific details on the SK plant programs, projects, and activities with their costs determined in the most accurate manner possible. So that's it! The four most important plans in so far as the agenda for youth development are concerned. To reiterate, the PYDP, the LYDP, the CBYDP, and the ABYIP. But to deepen a little of our discussion on these plans, let's highlight the most fundamental elements that characterize them all. 
Three things. Number one, these youth development plans are interconnected and therefore should be seen together and not in silos when talk about the advanced youth development in the country. Halimbawa, sabihin natin nakita ang may mental health crisis sa gitna ng pandemya sa isang lungsod. Hindi naman pwedeng sa ilang piling barangay lamang ang SK natin at maglunsad ng programa o proyekto patungkol sa mental health lalo na kung hindi naman tukoy kung saan lugar nang galing ang mga kaso. Wala rin kasiguraduhan na mananatili lamang sa ilang lugar ang isyu ng mental health. With this, it is essential that all SK within the concert city or municipality with emerging mental health crisis come up with the certain interventions to promote mental health and psychological well-being of youth in their jurisdiction. In the same breath, it is also important that the SKs go beyond typical wellness activities and connect the issue of mental health with the other youth issues as underscored in the PYDP framework. Number two, these youth development plans should be a product of inclusive democratic process of consultation and dialogue with the very sector they intend to serve, the youth. For PYDP, this means engaging the widest youth sectoral representation possible at the national level. For LYDP, this implies involving the youth groups and organizations comprising the LYDC. And for the CBYDP and ABYIP, this indicates including the Katipunan ng Kabataan or the youth in the community in general. At sa lahat ng to, pinakamahalaga na hindi lamang sa umpisa na isasama ang mga kabataan, kundi pati sa mga implementasyon at pagsusuri ng kinahinatnan ng mga plano para makasigurong sila ay angkop at may saysay pa sa kaunlaran ng hanay ng mga kabataan. Number 3. These youth development plans should be treated as the work in progress or a set of living documents. Hindi naman ibig sabihin nito na pwedeng bara-bara ang paggawa sa kanila dahil kaya namang magbago pala. Ito ay pagkilala lamang sa limitasyon ng kahit na anong plano sa pabago-bagong panahon at prioridad sa hinaharap. For instance, we have seen how the COVID-19 crisis dramatically changed national priorities and strategies on development. The same is true with youth development plans with health and the education as perhaps the center of participation that have been most pressing in the present time in terms of needed interventions in the community. Pero bukod sa pagkilala ng ganyang limitasyon, ito rin ay pagtingin sa oportunidad na pwedeng pwede palang mapagtibay at mapaganda ang mga planong ito para sa kinabukasan. Posible ang progresibong youth development plans at progresibong SK.